Next, we come to ratios of three quantities. What we have learned so far involve only two quantities. Now we are coming to ratios of three quantities. In ratios of three quantities, what we are comparing are three quantities instead of two quantities. That's all. So if you have no problem with the lesson so far, you are going to have no problem with ratios of three quantities. Let's look back at the example we used earlier. Now we mix one tin of blue paint, two tins of purple paint, and five tins of green paint to get the color that we want. Then the ratio of the paint is 1 to 2 to 5. If we are to double the quantity of the paints, then the ratio is now 2 to 4 to 10. These ratios of 1 to 2 to 5 and 2 to 4 to 10 are what we call equivalent ratios. How do we ensure that two ratios are equivalent? Are these two ratios equivalent? We are going to pick two corresponding number and make them the same. We can actually pick any two corresponding number. But let's say we pick 2 and 5. The common multiple of 2 and 5 is 10. For the ratio on the left hand side, we are going to multiply it by 5. And we get 10 to 25 to 35. The ratio on the right hand side, we are going to multiply it by 2. And we get 10 to 24 to 36. They are not the same, so they are not equivalent ratios. Next, we are going to look at two examples and to write those ratios into its simplest form. In simplest form, the number in the ratios must be whole number. Here, there are decimals, 2.4 and 1.5. To remove the decimals, the best way is to multiply them by 10. So we get 24 to 15 to 30. However, this is still not the simplest form. We can reduce it further. This number can be divided by 3, which will give us 8 to 5 to 10. And this is the ratio at its simplest form. Here we have fractions. To reduce the ratio to its simplest form, first we have to change the mixed number to improper fractions. So we get 8 over 3 to 3 to 1 over 2. Here we have the denominator 3 and 2. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So we are going to multiply this ratio with 6. And we get 16 to 18 and 3. This ratio cannot be reduced further. So this ratio is in its simplest form. In ratio in three quantities, the unit for the three quantities must be the same. So in this ratio, we have days hours and minutes. We must change these units to only one type of unit. Let's say we are going to change the other two into minutes. In one day, there are 24 hours. And we multiply that with 60 minutes and we get 1440 minutes. 3 hours is 3 times 60 and we get 180 minutes. So we are going to write this ratio as 1440 to 180 to 50. And we can simplify it to 144 to 18 to 5. Please do the quiz.